Hello everyone, it's I Seth again with another spray paint art tutorial. Today the painting we're going to be making is a return to the basics, and I say the basics because it never hurts to go over these fundamentals. It's been a while since I've done some painting, so I figured this would be a good return for me, and for you guys to practice those fundamental basics that I am always stressing you guys to go over. But it's not completely basic because I have several tutorials on that already, which I'll put annotations to on the screen and links in the description. But it is a return to the basics because it is just starting the fundamentals of space painting, which is starting with space. So today the paint we're going to be making it works with colors, shading, highlights, and a light spot or a light source in the middle of your painting to work with your shading and highlight fundamentals. The materials you're going to need to create this painting are fairly few and basic. You're going to need a glossy canvas of choice. For me, I'm using poster board, but anything with a glossy surface will do. Glossy spray paint, magazine sheets, circular lids, and a straight edge. And I put a little star next to the straight edge because it is not totally necessary, and I'll explain later while we are actually doing the painting. So let's get right into it. The first thing I do is set out all my plant stencils where I want them, and I'm going to mark them very lightly with some black spray paint. As you can see, I'm just very like lightly misting where my uh, stencils are so that way I'm not wasting a whole bunch of paint layer trying to guess and check where all my plants are going to go. For my plants on the left I'm using yellow, orange, and red and as you can see I'm keeping the paint very light just enough to color. Just enough to cover. There we go. On the right I'm adding blue and purple in either order but generally you want to keep it lightest to darkest for your colors which is why I did yellow, orange, and red in the order that I did on the other side. Blue and purple are about the same lightness so I, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. And for my plants on the left, I added black and then white for just the bottom one, just to show the difference of how the textures go by adding black and white. The top one has a more cratered look, and the bottom one has a few more different details and has brightened up just a little bit. For my plants on the right, I just added white, and I also crumpled the magazine sheet a little bit. And as you can see, it leaves a bunch of different like little textures and designs. It also gives it like a very cloudy, gaseous look to the planet, which I, you know, quite like. <laughs> And since we're going to add a light source to the middle of this painting later, I am shading the outside of the plants because light generally creates a shadow on the further side. So I'm shading the outside of all my textures, and this is a good way to work with your can control and make sure that you know where your paint's going. And since we're adding a light source in the middle, we're going to add a highlight to the inner part of the planets. And then you want to set your planet stencils back on. You want to make sure to get some of the highlight and some of the shadow. Because if you don't get either, you're going to have one planet that's sticking out and all the other ones are going to have uh, all these different like lighting effects on them and you're going to have this one that's just sticking out and weird looking. So yeah, make sure to get both of them. <laughs> Next we're going to cover everything in black. If you want to leave some spots lighter that will uh, leave the colors that you put on later on top of the black to stand out a little bit more. But I just covered everything with black. As you can see, I'm using Burst of Paint and I'm always moving the can which assures that the layer of black is very light, so I can add colors on like this, and they stand out a lot more. So for my warm color side, I'm adding cool colors to make them stand out more for both colors, for the sky color and for the plants, and I'm doing the exact opposite on the cool color side. I'm adding warm colors, such as yellow and orange and red. And like I said, this makes the plants stand out a lot more. If you want to, you know, keep a cooler color sky with the cool plants, do it! So you're painting. This is just what I'm doing, just for something fun and different to do. Next, we're going to add some stars. So all I'm doing, I'm spraying white paint on my finger off to the side, flicking off the big blobs, and then I'm returning to my canvas and flicking off the stars to get this nice, you know, uniform size of stars so there's not these giant blobs of paint landing on there. And this is the part that's optional. If you just want to add a little bit of white to the center of your canvas, you could do that, and that will be your light source. But I like to make a starburst effect instead, so... I took a medium-sized straight edge, I'm holding it right above my canvas, and I'm spraying the paint onto the straight edge so that way just the mist is creating these lines and uh, like light rays and things like that. And this does take some practice, and when the paint starts to build up on the straight edge, as you can see I took it off to the side for a second, make sure to wipe off your straight edge every once in a while because you don't want white paint dripping from the straight edge onto your canvas from the buildup of white paint. So this does take some practice. I never set the straight edge directly on the painting. I might set it on the edge of the canvas like you see there, or I might set it on top of the straight edge. And you always want to make sure to spray onto the straight edge and not onto the painting because you want to make it a very subtle line. And then at the end, I just sprayed a little bit of white in the middle of my starburst or sunburst, whatever, light rays to kind of hold it all together. And that's it. All you got to do is remove your plant stencils and you are done. 
and here's our finished product. Like I said, this is a fairly basic, but a little bit more advanced than basic painting that everybody should start off with and to get the fundamentals down as far as your can control, how heavy to layer the paints, and just get these basic ideas down before you start the more advanced stuff. This was a good way for me to get back into spray painting since I haven't done it for about a year, and it's always good for you guys to practice that too. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, I will see you all later.